Hello! Thanks for tuning in again to ACMI's craft series, All Things Natural. And today, I'm going to be sharing with you ideas for playing and working with feathers. And guess what? There's one that right here that came in, end of the farm scene. And you know what? Feathers are omens. Good luck. So when you wear feathers, like I have on feather earrings that I made, you're expected to have good luck. Also, the feeling of feathers brings you the lightness of spring, and that's what we need. And so that's why we're doing this show today. So let's start looking at some of the things I've created with feathers. This was made with an earring. And all I did really was I glued with wonderful heavy crafting glue on the back some feathers. And I attached it to a piece of um, it's not rope here, but leather. And we have a beautiful necklace. And then another one made from clay. The same thing. You can attach things to the back of a piece of clay, hang it on a piece of leather, and you're all set to go with a beautiful necklace. And you can wear these all year round. They're a little bit on the dark side, but they could be a beautiful accent on a light outfit. This was a pin that a person gave me, and then I made the back out of a piece of aluminum. And you file it. And I'm not going to go into all these details. I'm just going to give you crafters out there some ideas of ways of using feathers on pieces of material. Isn't that nice? And then the other piece that's right here was just an added piece of an earring. So when you're crafting with feathers and pieces of jewelry that you have, just think of interweaving various things maybe you would have thrown away or you didn't think were good anymore. But you can bring a piece of uh, jewelry to life just by adding feathers. This was a necklace that I made. And it's a choker. And this is a wonderful connection. You can order these online, and these are magnetic clasps to make either bracelets or a necklace. And here we have a beautiful little disc with some feathers attached very easily. With feathers, you don't have to go into soldering or any fancy kinds of manipulations. You just are there with feathers. and then. Here's a pair of earrings that I made with feathers. And these were fun. And in the crafting part, I'm going to show you how to make them so that you can have feathers for your earrings. Now here's some pins that I have, a collection, that I haven't worn. But I thought, well, what if you just put a feather or a couple on a pin. And then you have something that you're going to wear again in a new way that will bring you good luck. Yes. And then here's another one with just the additions. These were old pins that I think my mother had. And it's just fun to think that they could come to life again with the addition of just three mirror feathers. Isn't that sweet? Just put that on your lapel and you have a little statement. So I think you get the idea. You know what is really fun to work with is peacock feathers. This is quite something. And all these feathers that I get, these collections, I get on Amazon. And you can look through and they're relatively inexpensive. You can get a small bag, and if you don't like it, you send it back. They're so good at taking the back. But I have a collection of short ones and um, longer ones. So this is my jewelry collection. I hope I've inspired you to make jewelry with feathers. And then, as I said, I will teach you how to make the earrings. And over here, we have tiles that I've made. I love to use alcohol ink and make tile art. This was a piece that I wasn't too crazy about, 
But then I found these feathers and I brought the piece back to life. And I'm going to give this as a wedding gift. And on the back, I've written to Amanda and Attila, make the sacredness of your vows you have taken together be blessed by the light touch of a feather, one that holds the promise of sharing a love-filled life together forever. So they're not expecting this. This is not on their gift list, but this is going to be something they receive as a wedding gift with feathers. And it'll always be a conversation piece in their home. And then this was another piece that I made a long time ago with just the feeling of uplift. And I was working with the alcohol inks and thinking, how can I get a piece to look like it's just floating? Just nothingness floating, but it has its own design. And here it is. And I'll show you after what I'm going to do this to make one more little accent that really makes it look feathery and light. So what do we have over here also? We have birds made from alcohol ink. This one hangs on my door. And every month I change it and I make a new design, a new welcoming piece. And what I did was, all I did was, it, it just lacked something. And I just put the ends of the peacock feathers on the side and somehow it looks complete. There are two little feathers at the bottom, but now it looks like a complete piece of art when you see it on the door. This is my little robin. And this piece I was making for a friend and it didn't come out quite right and the alcohol ink went all over the place. So guess what I did? I put some feathers right here on top of it. So if you have any pieces of art, or cards, or various things that you have an idea for, get some of these feathers, put them on, and then you bring something that you've had to life in a whole new way. It is fun just playing with feathers. And this piece is a pin, believe it or not, made with bark. And I made a little dragonfly you can see that. And I put a pin on the back. And I could go right here. It really doesn't look like much of anything without these feathers. Look at the difference. Or you could put it on the side of a hat, make hat pins. You can make lapel pins, take pins, put them anywhere. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And people will, whenever I look, wear this hat, people always look at me and like, what's she doing in that hat? She doesn't live out west, but it's a good rain hat. And then if I wore this on it, they would really be looking at it probably. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to make a little shift here. And I'm going to set up a little workstation and show you how to make feather earrings. How about that? Stay tuned. Remember I said you can get packages at Amazon and just go through with feathers for crafting. So I have a little set here already. I've got three feathers. I have already cut the wire for it, which I will wrap, but I like to have a little accent right in the front. So this is what I do. I put a little wire in the hole and I squeeze it. And this is what I have to start. That's going to be a little charm that is going to stay right on the front side of the feathers. So I pinch the feathers tightly with my fingers and then I start to wrap. I wrap the wire up and around the ends 
of the feathers. And then I take scissors and I cut. So I've got this much. I've got a little hanging wire and I've got the feathers. And I've got the little charm right in the front. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little piece, this little cap, up over the top and this is what I have. And I hope you can all see this. Yep, we're leaving the camera right so that it always is looking at my hands and then you can kind of see because it's fine work. Now I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to make a little loop up over the top. And I'm going to turn this wire a few times to secure it. And then I'm going to clip it, this piece of wire. This is how far along I am. And now I'm going to take an ear wire, open the little back part, and I'm going to slip it in this little hole. You always make sure that the loop part of the wire is hanging, is going backwards. So I'm going to put this through this little loop and give it a pinch with my pliers. And how many minutes did that take? Less than three. Look at that. I was talking to a friend of mine last night. She said, oh, I used to make these for somebody down on the Cape. I said, you did? She used to live with me. I didn't know when she had made them. She says, yes, I did. And they, they asked me to make a gross. She said, I didn't know how much a gross was. I said, but you do now, right? Six dozen. Can you imagine making six dozen feather earrings? Today we'll just make two. All right, I'm going to go through quickly the next one to make sure we have a pair. Let's see, do I have, yes, here I have the feathers. So let, let me just go step by step. Feathers, step one, two, prepare the charm. Three, pinch the feathers, making sure they're all there. Four, wrap the charm around the stems of the feathers. Five, clip those little ends that are too long. Six, take the top of another piece. And I bet you could finish it in your imagination. Step seven is wind that little loop around at the top. Try to get it the same size as the other. And then wrap this again. And trim the wire. Put on the ear wire, that completes step eight. And here we have two little earrings. <laughs> I look like I'm ready for a powwow. All right, so there we go with the feather earrings. It will be fun if I see people around town in Arlington or whoever's watching. Where did you get your feather earrings? And maybe they said they saw it on ACMI. They saw a woman who demonstrated them. Kind of fun. All right. Have fun making earrings. And then now we're going to go and I'm going to show you how to make the little curtain bugs. So stay tuned. Okay, we're going to have a little fun making curtain or stick bucks right here. 
a little stick bug is right on my chest or it can go on your curtain or anywhere and you can make several of them really fun to make for yourself or with kids so I'm going to take you through this step by step let's check up here oh the feathers still there we're still getting some good luck pouring in stay tuned okay that's what we need good luck so I'm going to take pieces of Sculpey clay you can do a one color bug or several colors but it's kind of fun just to play with the clay so I'm going to roll this in my hand and remember you can always get clay in Arlington at playtime or at Michael's but it's so easy to get it there and I think she's gotten a whole new assortment of colors I asked her to please get some beautiful ones for spring I was doing these programs oh look at there's some very interesting designs when you keep pushing different colors together if you can see this What I like to do after I get some colors going, ooh, this is going to be a nice bug, is to put in some gold leaf. And if you don't want to buy a whole package of gold leaf, but watch if I just put this here and then I start rolling it into the bug and I press it. I'm going to get a very interesting effect on the top. Yeah, oh, I like that. I like that even better than the first one I made. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take a pine cone and I'm going to need two little wings. So I'll just cut this off the top of a pine cone and I'll trim it just a little bit with my scissors. A little pointy trim so it'll go right in there and stick. Let's see. I'd like a lot of that gold to show. All right, here's the first wing. And then it needs its little companion buddy on the other side. So here's the second side. All right, and then I'm going to press that down a little bit so it just doesn't look like a ball to look like a little bug. And then I'm going to put a couple of jewelry finding pieces of silver here. And then I have some little jewelry finding pieces like this and I think I'll, I'll give it a little twirl and make the little antenna to make it interesting. And I'll make one. And then I'll make the next one. These are so simple to make. They're wonderful as little gifts to put on top of packages. As I said, wear as pins. Put on your curtains. Put in surprise places. Many, many, many places. I'm going to change this to the top. So guess what? Here's my little bug made very, very quickly. Now, when you're working with the Sculpey clay, you have to cook it. But let's pretend this is all cooked and it's hard because you want to keep this for a long time. It's all hard and I have a nice stick little roses were on here before and I'm going to put my little bug on the stick okay he's just going to be sitting there and I would have done this impression before I cooked it so that it would sit right there and then you would glue it because by now it's imagine it's cooked and it's hard but it lacks something there's spaces here so what we need to do is fill it in with feathers. So I just happened, I thought I had a little glue here. I do, and we're going to put just a little bit on the branches for the feathers, and look at the difference that's made once I put feathers on this. I'll put one here, 
and one here, and one right here. So now how nice is that? You could put it on your front door, put it in different places in your house, but just fun with feathers. Isn't that easy? Now I want to take you back over here a second to show you how to remind you to use feathers as accents on things. And I told you I was going to make this one piece really look like it's feathery. And it has the suggestion of feathers and there's the feather on there to complete this piece. And then, last of all, how about instead of just having feathers sit on the table, put in beautiful, these are guinea feathers. I saw these online and I thought I have to have them. I just love them. You can put them in bouquets and just do things a little bit differently this spring. So I ask you all to have fun, have fun with feathers. Okay, thank you. And next week, or the next time that you see us, we'll be working with shells on all things natural ACMI. Thank you for staying tuned. ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help.